Coverage continues as a small Fresno business already struggling to stay afloat, forced to close their doors during the coronavirus pandemic, has now been targeted by thieves. AJ Cotto spoke with the owners of Reloved Vintage in Northwest Fresno, who say it happened before, but this time it's different. This is the third time this business has been broken into. You can see where the window has been busted out right over here. Now they say this time hurts more because they don't have the income to balance out the losses. Veronica Meacham and Amber Gorman spent hours Thursday cleaning up their closed down shop. We're already struggling because we're not making any sales right now. Their vintage home decor business forced to shut down more than two weeks ago, along with others deemed non-essential. Yeah, we were like just going to tread water for a while and then this hit and it's just kind of numbing. This is the scene they walked into after someone broke the window and burglarized the store. It's very frustrating. It doesn't feel good and you know, it's it's hard because everybody's frightened right now with everything that's going on as it is, so it, it's difficult. Boarding up a shop no one was supposed to be in in the first place. Did you get the hammer, the nails? Sergeant Jeff LeBlu says recently people have been afraid crimes like these would spike. We've been getting a lot of requests on crime numbers over the last three weeks since the emergency order went out. He says overall crime is actually down 2%. The department has also issued about 60% fewer citations, partly because motor officers have been redeployed to patrol businesses. Property crimes like this are up slightly, but so is the number of officers on the streets to just uh, show a security presence to help uh, calm the public. Meacham and Gorman don't have an estimate on the damages or stolen goods yet, but say right now when nothing's coming in, any loss hurts businesses like theirs much more. It's been very uh, challenging, <laughs> and especially now this is just going to cost us more money um, to take care of the mess that's been made. The owners here say they'll be listing a lot more merchandise online as they continue to try and get through this very difficult time in Fresno. AJ Cotto, KC24, Local News That Matters.